F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fam? It's showtime, folks. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R. Friend request reviews with friends request friends to watch better. Call Saw Season 6, Episode 11, titled Breaking Bad. Mm. I like the title of this episode. There's been too much it. hype, too much speculation around what's to come. So, y'all already know, man. The title like Breaking Bad. Y'all already know, man. What's up, Bradley? How you feeling over there, man? <laughs> Listen, we heard through the grapevine that uh somebody might be attending this episode. So you know what I'm saying? We 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 saw the video where they um threw the statue of of Jesse and and Walt in Albuquerque. So you know they 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 hinted that they were gonna be in this episode. So you know we extremely excited for this. You know we came in ready, prepared for the episode, but. I'm really just curious where they're going to take this episode because mm -hmm. how we left off with, you know, last, it was the gray Gene scene. You know what I'm saying? Gene yep. conniving, doing his, his Jimmy, his Jimmy uh, schemes. So I'm just curious where, where they're going to take it. Are we going to continue that or are we in just something completely different? So yep. I'm ready, though. I agree. I agree. I agree. Last episode. Kind of left me like, where where are we going, man? Mm -hmm. I assume we would get a full Gene episode. Yeah. And now, you know, I don't, I don't know. Well, we, exactly. We're going to get some, some sauce. I don't know. So, you know what? We're not going to hold you any longer. we just going to fly right in. So, if you're still here, don't forget to like this video. Go ahead and drop some comments. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. The goal is 10K. So, go ahead. Click that button. Click that bell, get notified when we go live. Breaking Bizzle, baby. Let's get it. AMC Plus. Where they going? Where they going with that? We got color already. We got, it says saw, saw, too. Episode. It says saw. Oh, this is this is when they kidnapped him. He's in the RV. He's in the RV. Oh, yes. Oh. It's always the desert. Come You're on, in New Mexico. For real. Where else would it be? Come on, please. One of you, just, just you talk. I look. Come on, before mistakes are made. Come on, talk to me, guys. Huh? <laughs> Man. Yes. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. No. Oh, it wasn't me. It was Ignacio. He's the one. He <laughs> said it was Ignacio. <laughs> oh, I forgot this is the intro. Oh. What? This shit crazy, bro. I don't even know which way we about to go. I'm trying to contain my excitement, but it's getting tough <laughs> with at, Raleigh over here. Like, it's like, yo, now the the intros are Gene. So what the fuck? Wait. Yeah, we back black and white. What are they fucking doing here, bro? I don't know. This Francesca. It's good. Uh, we didn't do that. Then what's this? Regular sink stuff. Listen, <laughs> if you're gonna do this shit, at least flush it down the toilet, not the sink. Your sink is full of stems and seeds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. look, mm -hmm. Narca. <laughs> Narca. We're not doing drugs, so stop trying to cast, you know. Judgment? Aspersions. Narca? You feel me? Yeah, That's all I heard. Feminine <laughs> version of narco. Wait. This is probably have to do with remember she had to make a call at certain at a certain date at a certain time. Maybe that's this. What the fuck was that? This is life after Saul. Like. Yeah, definitely. Hey, 
That's how you live in Francesca? Damn. She out here paranoid too? Yo, Oakley. He got his own John. <laughs> Yo, William Oakley and Associates. Took over song. Wow. Hey, he came up in the ranks. I thought I was tripping. They had it blurred out. I'm like, is that Oakley? No, that's that. That's definitely him. Mm, she on it, though. She still dropped around with her head on the swivel. She went around the whole block. Like, <laughs> Yeah, this is it. Yo. The phone call. Three o'clock. Show ass out the car. Come on. Do Show it. ass out the car. Do it. Lay it on me. First things first. No, I I believe we agreed after. Soda can tap. It's got a fishing line tied to it. Follow that line. It'll take you to an old water line and just keep pulling the string and you'll get what I promised. <laughs> <laughs> She's about to make him wait that whole little... I mean, he made that process yeah. long, so... For real, though. I'm saying, what if some random just came by and freaking... Hung up the phone? Hung up the phone. <laughs> she just did. Just look at this. How fucking elaborate this shit is. Nah, for real, though. He really he really did stash him. <laughs> stash he stashed, like... Mm, the bank bag, baby. Give me that shmoney. Oof. How hot? How hot? Yeah. Well, I still get followed. Hmm. Not as often as when the ship first hit the fan, but I still see them. Skylar White got her deal, so the only ones left to go after are you and Pinkman, and I heard they found his car down by the border, so. Hmm. Adios, dopehead. You said Skylar got her deal? Yes. Cause she had the lotto ticket. Nail salons. Nail salons are gone. What? Gone? All of them? Yep. Damn. What about the vending machines? Fucking bullshit. Gone. Jesus! What? Why would you do that? Time has expired. Mm. God damn it! You, you put my name on the board of a fictional corporation. I had to give it up. I didn't really have a choice. And, and a heads up would have been nice, by the way. <laughs> Facts. There's nothing else. Well, that's not true. After all this time, well, come on. Come on, spill it. Let's hear it. I want to know. How's Kubi? Thank you. No idea. <laughs> right, how about Huel? Huel, I guess, back home in New Orleans. DEA held him under false pretenses or something, so last I heard, he walked. Man, Huel okay. finally made it out of that room, huh? <laughs> this reminds me of, of Walt when he was in the right, shed. He Bill had to Oakley? pay for... Dude, to spend time <laughs> with him, man. Like, yeah, it really does. So I just want to talk, man. The private jet is taking us to the palace on Thursday. <laughs> She's stupid. Yeah. She's giving them that elderly talk. I did get one call. Okay. After everything went down. Okay. <gasps> Kim. Kim. Mm. Oh, my God. Checking in on me. Word. <sighs> Come on, man. They know we we know y'all gotta oh, give us Kim okay, again, well, man. Eventually. Well, I guess. Yo. <laughs> this is goodbye. They have to. Hello. D. <laughs> Straight. She not Click good. that she... man. I mean, he he ruined her life. Nah, that's facts. But <laughs> like... we got a crossroad right now. Take a right, you go to Kim. Take a left, you go in, back into hiding. Go forward, just drive off the cliff. No, oh, ain't no telling. <laughs> he on that bad choice road right now. I'm looking for Kim Wex. Here we go. I believe she works there. No, you know the lines are tapped. And of course they're not gonna let us hear anything that he's saying. Oh, they're talking. Oh shit, I couldn't see him. 
You bastards. Come on. That's this how I feel. Fair. This oh. is not fair. Let us hear. Like. We feel your frustration, Saul. I'm thinking maybe that just give us like one sentence, something. Oh my god. Break that whole damn freaking shit over, man. He Walter that <laughs> shit, like. Oh. They, they playing, playing with us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they playing with it. They playing with it. They, they she said it's time for us to break up. They didn't even let us see her pack. We've never seen her again. <laughs> <laughs> they are playing with us. <laughs> I can't stand it right now. Bro, for real. I'm containing it as as, <laughs> as I can, but they playing right oh, now. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, Jeffy. Look what the cat dragged in. You even made him say it. Hey, hey, Gene. Yeah, your mom was just showing me this computer you bought her. Yeah, well, he, he got it. Mm. I didn't know what the hell to do with it, but the, look, Gene showed me. You, you go to the box up here, <laughs> and then you type in funny cat videos. Mm. I mean, that's it, just funny cat videos. <laughs> These funny cat videos just pop up. Yeah, you could type in, you know, F double R, friend request reviews. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Huh? Huh. Hmm. Jeff, like, okay. I ain't trying to crack my head no more, man. You told me to say we done. What happened? Why are you back in my kitchen? Like, she's like, he's such good company. It's not what this is about. Y'all about to slip again. Living our lives like normal, just it. like you say. Stop talking. You need to get but to I Kim. Jeff, stop talking. But you said we're done. You said cross to the other side of the street. Exactly. And I see you coming. It's all he in the cycle, man. We know how Saul do. We never done. Sailors and Brandy, you're a fine girl. <laughs> what a good wife you would be. She can still hear him say, she hears him say, Brandy, Brandy. you're a fine girl, what a good <laughs> wife you could be. That dude was wow. feeling it. Mm. Oh. Wow. Is that Stingray? He look like Stingray. Right? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Off this time. No, 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 no more bats, okay? Come on, I haven't been right once. Oh, what's the matter with a fella? I can't wait to see what this scheme is, man. I'm trying to figure out who this man is and what he has to offer. The money. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to take the bet? <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. This is too funny because this is like <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> you lose, sucker. <laughs> he think he hustling him so good that he don't even realize he getting hustled, man. Where's Buddy at? Oh, he going to take know. him home, right? Because he's going to get too drunk. I guess. Cause yeah. He definitely getting the tell. Oh, you see how he... <laughs> he draining the drinks, like... Well, easy. Perfect Looks timing. Like Cabs is here. Oh, I bet you for it. <laughs> no bets. Huh? I gotta win one, right? All right. That's right, you do. Okay, now. I wonder how many of these schemes Jimmy done did in his own. Ten. <laughs> back in the day. Nine. I'll see you around next time, pal. Mm -hmm. This yep. is fun. Oh, Victor. You can keep the matches. What a fine girl. If only you knew how much fun you just had. Victim number one, or you just bringing them in like. <laughs> Got that old shit full of liquor. You gonna Take hit a it? little bit. Of course. Yeah, might as well. Oh. oh nah, he empty it all out. Alright. Yeah, I'm fine. Got a lot of booze and uh, nuts in my mouth. <laughs> I got water here, if you want. On the house. Night, night. Feel me? Hey, you can go. I'm not giving you another tip. Mm -hmm. That boy stingy no problem, with sir. this money. For real, after winning all them bets. 
Feel better. Damn, left his door wide open. Okay, I was about to say. That's a okay. nice little crib though, so he's definitely mm -hmm. he's definitely loaded. Let me find out they're here to get some Alpine Shepherds. <laughs> He about to become this dude yeah mm -hmm. i'm thinking that's definitely. what it is he definitely taking the specifics mm-hmm because he ain't even touched the cash yeah i think that's exactly what it is so he can move around and he could get to kim because that's the goal i like the way you move around <laughs> Yep, buddy. You're just another casualty. Mm -mm. Oh boy, about to get frauded. For real. That's the worst. Because once they take it, they ain't no getting it back, mother. Unless you got insurance. I was just about to say, you might want to take that I off. swear I was going to say the same <laughs> shit. Like, why would you leave the tape? <laughs> like, is this significant? Like... <laughs> Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Color back. Mm, we get to see the after. What the hell is this? That is crystal ship. Definitely travel. Ew. Yo. That boy looking. Oh. Travels. Crystal ship. Well, I call this thing. All right, never mind. Just no details. So you're not just distribution. You're the whole freaking package. Huh. You two actually make the blue stuff. Mm. I had a fish that could have used this as a vacation home, but you're <laughs> to make the good stuff. Huh? Man, That's his it. goldfish. So, uh, round <laughs> flask. Mm. Your eyes burn. <laughs> That's crazy. Yes, sir. Turn out with the setup. That's crazy. Done. We're done with the questions. <laughs> we ask the questions. Do you have a job? One job? Mm. Take it any way you want. That's the price. Mm. And uh, <clears throat> I'm calling shotgun. Ted. Mm -hmm. Get my ass back home. All right. I will drive. You're lucky I'm not charging you for my chiropractor. She's expensive. <laughs> but she adjusts everything. Mm. <laughs> everything. Everything. No. You gotta give us some gas. I gave it up. the proper amount of gas. <coughs> yes, sir. Oh, that's some dude named Lalo sent us. You see, pretty freaked out. Never heard of no Lalo on the street. You've heard of Tuco, though. It's nobody. Hey, are we gonna try that again? <laughs> or are they gonna find us? Said it was Solomon Kidstrom. Well, actually, looks identical so he did bravo <laughs> in the season a second facts got the hat on too to mm -hmm. just in case <laughs> mega mom <laughs> exactly <laughs> i could definitely see jesse jesse's don't uh the aging cgi <laughs> <laughs> that was fire <laughs> Look at this. Wow. Feel like home, huh? Who's <laughs> <laughs> them yeah. All the rich cats. All they debits, credits. Silence spells. That's speaking clouded. Crypto. 
sure. Stocks. It cannot Thanks. be a part of me, for now it's part of you. They out here Cardi B in these motherfuckers, man. <laughs> for real. Throw the Molly in the drink ass motherfuckers. I assume Saw is doing his research and making sure they don't got no family at home first, but if not. They better hope they don't walk into. So it's just, just selling it's, people's identity. Yeah, it's just to make bread. And they selling wealthy people identity at that, so mm -hmm. that's probably a nice little bonus for them on the back end. Mm, he looking like a little Don Dada with the shades on back there. Mm -hmm. mm. He gave himself some cheeks. Let's she probably go. thought he was Kevin Cosner. That's what it was. Hey, you already know. <laughs> mm, another. Look at that. Boom. Another. Listen, I still want to hear the conversation between him and Kimmy. Like, I don't think I forgot that, Peter. Okay. Yeah, that was. I still haven't forgotten. You want to know my trick? Play your own game. Don't get caught up with what the other guys are buying. Spoil it for the rest of us. In fact, <clears throat> sorry. Uh oh. Mm. You on medication? Those look exotic. What are those for? For real, what are those for? Cancer. Mmm. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> sorry. Uh, is it, uh, is it bad? Well, it ain't the good kind. <laughs> Come on, more drinks. This one's on me. Get two more here, please. How you how you feel about scamming this dude, Jimmy? Saul? You only yeah. go around once. Let him let him be. Don't scam this one, man. Come on. Nah, let us know you still have a heart, man. Don't break he bad. About he about to get all in his ass. Like you about to go anyways. Let him ride off, huh? He's a sick human being, Saul Goodman. Tip. You know it. Here we go. Back to the color. <laughs> All for what, huh? Sunshine. Cast some light into my cold, dark world. <laughs> Is this when he beats his ass? Or uh, threatens to beat his ass? Either I'm going to leave... Or I am going to put my foot in your skull. Damn. Exactly. Should have known like it was that. a moment <laughs> that Mike was going to threaten him. First, there's your Mrs. Denise Gabler. She's cheating, all right. Well, at least I know they didn't spot you. No one could stay that aroused with your mug peeking through the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Bus driver. Newsflash, he really does have a broken neck. Fantastic. What about uh, that Heisenberg fella? High school chemistry teacher. Hmm. You're shitting me, really? Walter Hartwell White, mm. chemistry teacher over at J.P. Wynn. He has lung cancer. Mm. Jesus. That's why he can't quit with a coffee. How bad? Stage 3A, he's in treatment, more tests to come, but it doesn't look good. Is that what he who shall not be named says about him? Ooh. He didn't say anything. The guy's small potatoes. Yeah, okay. I hear you. I just... Did you ask him? I got a feeling about this. This Heisenberg guy's got something. <laughs> Let it go. He it's can. crazy. That mustache probably doesn't make a lot of good life choices. <laughs> An Alaska kid caught a bad break. Cop was driving by just as he was ducking in a window. He, tuned in all he did the shit. time. No one else on his crew went down. Solid. <laughs> you cutie patootie. She could just watch that all day, huh? You think Man, you've seen all everything? All day, all night. <laughs> The 
guy has cancer, man. Mm. Found pills in his pocket. Okay, the same ones my dad took mm. for like pancreatic cancer. So a guy with cancer can't be an asshole? Huh? Believe me, I speak from experience. Yeah. I can't rip off a guy with cancer. Well, I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, but I, I pulled the tape when I left. The door's locked. We mm. couldn't get back in even if we wanted to. <laughs> hmm. Jeff, come on, man. Back me up here. Huh? Jeff breaking bad. Oh, well, I don't know. I mean, I can see both sides, kind of. You know, forget it. You're fired. Just go. Just give me the camera and go. If we're going to do this, we should leave now. We're really going to go back there? What did I just say? <laughs> so they really going to go back. in the cab, too. They really going to go back over there? After he just told you the tape is gone, what you going to do? Bust through the front door? Yo, the tape is gone. They back there with the actual cab. Like, it seems fishy. This is the climax. I'm about to get it. It'll be fine. Relax. Is Jeff going to come back? <laughs> is, he, is he a soldier? Is he a rider? Oh my I god. Love it. I, love, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I don't love think we're gonna see that lick today. Ah uh, nah. I don't think we're gonna see that. Yeah, but it gotta be Oh, this is when he went to go see Walt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He went to go talk to Walt. Sorry. Oh, yeah, Walt was always driving the hybrid like mm -hmm. <laughs> for, This is when he tried to convince him. Bro, why he was <laughs> That's what I'm crazy. Mmm, the transition again. Now it's for sure look like a B and E. Oh, they <laughs> are playing. They are playing. They are playing. Hit that, hit Hold that, hit that. Hold up. Don't you leave. We got one more little Easter egg here. Um... Yeah, just like last episode, there was also another phone number that you could call on this episode. So we're going to dive right into that. And that is William Oakley and Associates. Let's get it. Thank you for contacting the law offices of William Oakley and Associates. I'm William Oakley. You can call me Bill. And I understand that every criminal charge, no matter how petty, must be handled with the utmost care. Having served as an Albuquerque deputy district attorney for over a decade... I'm uniquely qualified to defend my clients against a wide range of prosecutorial tactics. I have a proven track record with hundreds of wins in cases spanning DWIs, personal injury, assault, theft, and more. At the tone, please leave your information and a brief description of your charges, and I will call you back within 24 hours. Remember, trust experience. Trust Oakley. I look forward to serving your legal needs. There you have it. A nice little extra nugget that they keep just throwing in these episodes. These are the things that I love about this show, man. They really they really get into the nook and crannies, and this is just one of those examples. So don't forget, trust experience and trust Oakley. Enjoy the rest of the end talk. Peace. There you have it. Better Call Saul, season six, episode 11 in the books. All right, man. This was an interesting one. We had a lot of transitioning between uh, Gene and, and Saul. Like I, I was, I was actually pretty intrigued by that. A lot of cool ass transitions. A lot of little mm -hmm. uh, fill-ins from conversations that we didn't get to see in, in, in Breaking Bad. Um, so it was pretty good. Had a, had a pretty enjoyable time. How you feeling over there, Bradley? I like, I like the episodes. I can't, I can't lie. It was a little bit lackluster i'm just gonna say that just right now but i still enjoy what they did with this episode you know bringing in uh walt and jesse kind of intertwining it with, with what's going on in his current life and kind of just thinking back you know when uh when he first met walt and all of that so i like i like the trans like you said the transitioning back and forth was uh was done very well and i liked it i agree i agree um I can't lie though, I'm kind of like, you know, still trying to figure out where they're going with this. They name drop Kim finally, so I figure that's 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 the route, man. We're gonna eventually get to the climax between Gene and Kim finally seeing each other again. 
Mm -hmm. um, it, it's been said multiple times how this is a love story and you know like maybe that's <laughs> how it ends with them two finally back together like who knows or maybe it's a tragic ending um but i think that for me personally the last this episode and last episode were were some pretty big gambles i think like in terms of just like the fact that we're so close to the end these are the two episodes that they released like i, I think those are some pretty big gambles and i do enjoy the, both this episode and last episode mm -hmm. but it just feels like it's so close to the end i'm just like damn i like is, is there more they can be doing like or or is, is this shit really gonna land like yeah i don't I know we got two episodes left you know and and remember i forgot what episode it was but during the end talk i had asked you like what are you looking for in a in like a in a finish to this story like are we looking for what did i say are we looking for the ultimate connection to breaking bad or yeah. are we looking for jeans and story, and story. So, yep 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 i think with this episode they kind of maybe giving us both so you know maybe maybe i don't know i don't know man i don't talk to me bro I, I think i think you're right on that though what what, what type of ending are we looking for here like the tie-in mm -hmm. or is it the end of the story and i think this episode you know pretty much uh kind of answered that for us because they they gave us the, the tie-ins with breaking bad you know obviously mm -hmm. previous episodes kind of um hammered down on that point but I think the the what we're seeing here is the the end the end story of Gene. You know what yep. I'm saying? His his end story. And they hinted to Kim. Yep. So my, my 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 what what I think is what he's doing here is trying to accumulate as much money as possibly can. Mm. And 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 maybe use that money to use the vacuum man vacuum, but yo. first he wants to get to kimmy mm -hmm. to see if she would like to wants take to that come. yes exactly yeah. so that yeah. that that's where i got out of this episode i got okay he is building he's trying to like that's what the whole beginning part was with francesca him trying to figure out oh where can i get some money that i have left you know out there and shit and she told him they took everything so mm -hmm. I think that I think that's how what they're trying to do here. They're trying to, you know, Kim is the last piece of the puzzle, and yeah. and and man, it's the love story. I it's would definitely I, the love story. I would love to be a fly, <laughs> just swooping around that phone booth just to listen to what what type what was the conversation, man. man. It looked bad. It. it I mean, um, yeah, Saul's in, but I, I, yeah, I'm just curious to see. I agree. That's I feel the same exact way. I feel like like it's just like okay, these are these are cool, but like where are we going? Where are we gonna land? Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I, I personally don't know because I don't I don't be in the forums. Broly don't be in the forums or nothing like mm -hmm. that. But you know, in the Discord, we got people talking, and and we've heard like the reception wasn't like amazing for the last episode. Yeah, I don't know what the reception is gonna be for this one, but like mm. I feel like it's kind of on the same pace with the last episode, and I yeah. feel like it's because people don't know what how they want this show to, i don't want to say they don't know how they want the show to end but like it's just basically like the question i just asked brolic like what where are we really going with this and i feel like you know i think these were gambles like these are these are like yo well, there's only two episodes left now like, i what, know they can't do another one like this episode or last episode the next one has to be some fuego lito bro uh, man i think i think saul's gonna slip up man i don't think he's gonna get to kim in time bro i think he's uh, i think i think he gets to kim He's moving too sporadically, man. Like I'm telling you, man, he's breaking and then he's actually he broke that window, like you said, man. Maybe because he's close. Maybe because he's close to that number, he's trying to hit. You feel me? And that can still cause and a bad slip up, though. That's man. very true. That's very true. But I'm thinking, maybe it has to be right. He has to know this has to be like one of the last licks in order for him to, to leave. Because yeah, the way he's moving is it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make yeah, sense at all. he's pushing it. He's pushing he it right now. He's pushing it. You could be right, though. It could be... I, yeah, I just want to know how it's going to end. Because I definitely think we're going to see her again. That's for sure. Yes. Like, there's no way we're not seeing Kim again. I'll cry. Um, but I just... I don't know if it's going to be a happy ever after. Like, we back together type of shit. Like, I don't... 
<sighs> I do think we're for sure gonna see Walt and Jesse again, though. At least Walt. You think so? I think so. I don't. I feel like the way they ended it, like they're gonna give us a little bit more in the next episode of the same style of the Gene slash transitioning saw kind of transitioning. Yeah, I think so. I I, I I enjoyed that though. Out of yeah, the you know the whole transitioning thing, like they um. They showed us a scene where he was coughing in the van, you know, in the RV, and then they kind of uh, gave us that mic scene mm-hmm. where he told them actually he does have cancer, but he was mm-hmm. also vetting people, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. then it ties into the conversation they're having about, you know, oh, I vetted all these people and all this, you know, so I, I like the the way they kind of bring that together, you know, those mm-hmm. two separate you know, black and white and color. I yeah. love how they brought it together, you know, with the theme of the of the, yeah. the episode. So, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Tough. It's because it's like they like it's like, damn, they did some really great stuff. But it's just like, where are we going? bro? we got two episodes. Y'all playing with our hearts. Like, yeah, gotta, and, and that's the thing. Like, I think that's the thing with uh, the reason why people are probably not enjoying it as much is because they're playing around. Me and you mm-hmm. literally at the same time said, yo, they playing. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> and and the audience feels that shit. So I feel yeah, like yeah. maybe maybe they taking it some type of way. Because you know we do live in a sensitive society. I'm just going to gotta put that out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's true. We live in a sensitive society and people just take it, you know, a certain type of way. And I just think, you know, they're having fun with this. And that's what we try to do when we, when, you know, we try to have fun with this shit. So I... Yeah. I I have fun. I have fun, and I think that the um, I think this they they are playing around, but I think this was probably the right choice, especially with with the ending they're probably looking at here. Um, I can't say what it truly is gonna be like. What what the ending might end up like? Is he gonna end up like dying or arrested? Hmm. Is he finally going to get out by himself, maybe? Because Kim don't want to take that ride with him. Is he going to take him? There's, there's plenty of possibilities of where this thing could go. I'm just happy that I don't know it. It's all a mystery. Yeah. So Him him riding in jail would, would probably be the most appropriate thing to happen to this dude, man. I ain't going to lie. After everything? Yeah. Like, it started with... Chuckles bailing him out. It ends with nobody being able to get his ass out. <laughs> like you know, what I'm yeah, saying? like so you're probably right. It would but be I don't, really crazy. I don't think people would like that. <laughs> the audience probably wouldn't like that. I, to be I don't honest, I think the writers give a f- <laughs> it's their nah, story. I, bro. I, like, I agree. <laughs> let them do whatever they want to do. Like so far to this point, I've had a just a great ride. It, it's been a great ride yeah, to this point. Me too. You know what I'm saying? I can't say the same for other shows. Like, you know what I'm saying? At this point towards the season, series finale of Game of Thrones, you know how we were feeling going in. be mad at GOT. Yo, yo, you, you, because Thrones. you know how season eight had everybody. Every episode was like, what the fuck are y'all doing? Hey, I let doing? my beef, I don't say my beef's name so they don't get famous. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we don't say his name like you know who. <laughs> but real, oh, man. But all right, man. Any final thoughts? Final Any thoughts final? is, um, yeah, Walt and Jesse, I think they, they they did a great job with, you know, just a small little piece that they had within the within the episode. The de-aging was a little bit noticeable on Jesse. Walt looked pretty much damn near the same. Like, he, he, he played it all pretty well. But other than that, man, I, I, I thought it was a thought it was a good episode. Me too. Fire ass transitions. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, they did some. They did some good stuff. I'm just trying to figure out where the hell are we gonna go. We got two. Listen, I told you. Left, y'all. I told you exactly what happened. Listen, my my my. I'm leveling up after this. I know for a fact. Yeah, Cause while I'm leveling it, your level ups be. <laughs> this nigga said like, yo. They about to eat a sandwich, like, and the next scene they ate a sandwich. He was like, ding, ding, ding. I'm like, what? Motherfucking, like, 
I be making stop way better it, positions than that. I don't it. get don't nothing make me, for it. Don't make me start getting the the, the edit points just for editing. <laughs> yeah, like, I think you already do, Shane. Nah, I don't. I got one little. I got one little bar in my shit. Like. What you said today? I was like, that wasn't even a prediction. That man. What? Was <laughs> what? Now you said one today was was really good, but the the first one. I was like, what? So good. <laughs> like, but I got a point too, so I ain't chipping. But um, yeah, man. We are moving on to the score. That's the one. That's the real question. How mm-hmm. you gonna score this episode? I'll give it an eight. I think it was a, a yeah. good I think it's a it, it's great episode, right? Has uh great directing, great cinematography, and uh, music, and I just think they did a lot of good things with this, you know. Uh, I just think people are most likely not gonna like this for the simple fact that it's a little bit slow and you don't know where it's headed. So, you know, I think that's what's having people kind of give it a bad rating is because they don't know what to expect. But I think that's a plus because um, for the most part, people know where it's gonna head, you know, when you get towards the end. And I think this show has done a great job of not kind of you know ruining that yeah i respect it i respect it mm-hmm. i was gonna give it a 7.5 but you kind of hyped it up there man i think i give it an eight too man it's the, <laughs> it's the it's the right score it's the perfect infrastructure you know what i'm saying like they i am a little bit salty that I, my head ain't in the game right now i'm trying to figure out which direction we moving but you know i like that they name dropped kim i like that he made the phone call and actually spoke to her i love the transitions mm-hmm in the episode and stuff like that as well so like i can't i can't i can't i ain't gonna give it the 7.5 i give I mean, it an eight man i give it an eight one. man he, he gave it a 7.5 <laughs> on the loan let's keep it real <laughs> you already snow but <laughs> if you still here with us y'all already know how much we appreciate y'all man y'all the f double r fam y'all keep us grooving y'all keep us moving <sighs> so you already know Make sure you comment down below. Let us know what we missed on this episode. And don't forget to subscribe, okay? The goal is 10K. F double R out. Peace. Peace.